All right. As always, here's the risk disclosure. Trading futures is risky. Know what you're doing before you do it, and you can lose all your money. Also, this live stream is not financial advice. It is for educational purposes only, and the live stream is not intended to copy my trades. Good morning, everybody. How are y'all doing? Morning, Jim, Tommy, Dr. Jimmy, Jim. <laughs> yeah, news. News right now. Morning, good morning. Good morning, John. So the market barely moved overnight. Let's go to the 50 tick chart here. Vertical green line here is the break. The day break. Barely moved. Barely moved. So if you traded overnight, that must have been a slow, boring session. <laughs> the 30 tick chart check out these levels right above 250 nice levels there down here we have another nice little stack so some good good potential targets and uh simplicity chart Applied volatility is going a little bit wacky right now. Big bar up, big bar down. It's hard for me to believe that that's all that's going to happen with that news. So we'll see. Let's see how the day goes. Oh, wow. What did they say why they classified it as professional? No, I've never seen that. Huh. That's strange just to randomly say up oh, you're a professional I'm not gonna tell you why hmm well at least uh they'll put you back to non-professional Yeah, maybe ask them, say, um, you know, you'd like to know why, because you want to avoid that happening again in the future. <laughs> like, what made, what triggered this, so I know in the future, because, uh, you know, that cost you 
two days of trading, which costs you you money, expenses, and potential profits. That's what I would say. So maybe you deserve a uh, a credit. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he's had the data for a while. It's been no issues. It's been, been a while. It's just... So they don't even offer... Oh, okay. So that's why you didn't have any data at all. Because they don't even offer professional data. And then they said, oh, you're a professional. So we'll just cut your data off. That's weird. And maybe it was, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe they just had some kind of glitch or error on their end, and that's the story you've been given. <laughs> All right. We are potentially going long here. We're at settlement, but... Click, click the wrong button. We have settlement, but it's it's trying to break up. We have this this top kind of going on here at the on the thirty tick. So if we can break this area again, we have this nice target up here. So if we start going long, we could break this this top area here. Uh, around two twenty six, two twenty seven. Then we have a the ice level. Then this nice stack up here that we we can head straight to. So I'll be looking at that. Uh, that's coming from the 30 tick chart, Tommy. Let me go back to the 30 tick. That's right here. This crash right here. And it's copied to my 10 tick. So I copy my 30 tick OP over to my 10 and my uh, simplicity. Ooh, there it goes. It is trying. Trying to go long. It broke that top. Look at all, all that OP, triple cluster, ZOIs instantly. Holy moly, look at this. See that green eye block? That green eye block, 219 orders right there, buy orders. So that's what put that green eye block on the 30 tick. It's just like a huge influx of orders right there sitting there. We do have ISM news at 10 a.m. as well, so watch that. But right where we had that eye block lay also a cluster on the 30. And we have a star low volume score 4 on the bar before. So we might have a little bit of trouble here, but if it hits these buy orders, I mean, we may just shoot up to... Uh, to ice. Let's see how it eats up those orders. What it does there.
Sorry, I always, I always forget to um, open up the Elite Room chart, or Elite, the Elite Room. That's why it flashes black, because I'm opening that up. Yeah, Tommy, the 30 tick chart is extremely essential. It's mainly taught in the Thrive event. That's the Thrive event and learning the 30 tick chart is what literally changed my trading. I mean, completely changed my trading. Yeah, you definitely need the 30 tick chart. Even with just sniper trades, the 30 tick charts can make a huge difference. And you set it up, you, you basically could set it up uh, the same as the, the 10, except you're loading 30 tick bars. And there is a template for it. I think it's called 30 tick plane. You'll just load that. And basically what it is, it's, you know, you see the 30 tick chart here, the order prints on it. You look at them the same as you do the 10, except they're just like 10 times uh, stronger. All right, back below settlement. So though it got rejected right up there. Green eye block, clusters, star, low volume score, and reversal. Took us right back below settlement. Let's see what happens here. I pretty much want it to make its way below these clusters, below this 210 area, before I take a trade. So we have that crash there too, double clusters below. I don't want it to turn into a range right in here. Six forty-eight forty-two bar. Morning, Vegas. Uh, no, that's uh, an ICR is a requires a mini magnet, and it'd have to pull back f a little closer. So, I see where you're saying. So, like, if it pulled down here, pulled up, it'd have to pull down closer to the bottom, but then also lay a mini magnet. So a Paul, a Paul won't do it.
yeah. Um, had a good day yesterday. 25, I had one winner, one 25 tick winner. And uh, it funded me three more 50K accounts as well. Well, if y'all remember, it funded two and then it left one of them with like $7. <laughs> I ended up taking a, a little trade that, that grabbed, as soon as it went like four or five ticks, I just, I, I closed it out just to cross over that, give me that $7 that I needed. So I, I did end up getting it. So I got my three, three extra PAs. So those are being copy traded. I got three more right behind it. Let's see how far those are away. And eh, they'll still have a few more days to go. I thought it was a little closer. Maybe four or five days of profit. We'll get those other three funded, but don't think it'll be this week, so I just won't even pay attention to those. Nice, Vegas. Take your time. Take your time. I know you know that. <laughs> yeah, and this actually goes to prove to myself that, you know... I've predominantly traded pre-market, the one hour pre-market, but this year has been, you know, not the easiest. And I've been trading early afternoon as well, but I have not been trading this 25K account in the early afternoon. So it goes to show that you can see how this one is barely up now. You know, it was down, barely up, but all my other accounts were being copied as well during this time. So those went down and back up, and those actually got funded, and those were 30 trading days. So it's like, you know, goes to show being able to trade when the market's open makes a big difference. <laughs> nice, unknown trader. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yesterday, because I had those three accounts, there was just small difference, obviously, between the three. So I knew if I hit a 25 tick winner, it would fund them. But because of my fill, I think it was a one or two tick, two I guess two tick difference in my fill for that last account, it left me short. <laughs> Literally, a one or, it was like two ticks short. Really one and a half, but obviously there's not a half, so. I probably, eh. Because the thing is, okay. Let's see, market's breaking. It's going now. Hold on, let's see here. Might get a opportunity. For a pullback, we ha we do have a nice. See, this is a clear simplicity short. Want to have taken this pullback, breaking clear trend down, right? But we're hitting. We broke the low back here, so I like that. We're lower than the previous low. So we have ice right down here. We have we have a paw well, on the ice. There's a cluster. So, but now if we get a pullback to probably this wall. Breaking below 200. So if we get a pullback up in this area, I'm going to short it. Just wondering if I need to set a 20 tick. 
I'm going to set, because the market is moving a little more than it has been, uh, I'm going to move to a 20 tick stop. Fifteen will probably still be okay, but I'm gonna move to twenty tick. Now we gotta watch. Be careful. Be a little careful. It's trying to lay mini magnet on the thirty tick right above this uh, red eye block, but should come up test around two hundred. The 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 part though. Let's see. The part I don't like about these areas is that it if it comes back up to two hundred. And that's where we go short from. Price could want to go back in the 200s. So that's that's always a risk whenever you're around those, you know, double zeros or triple zeros. But I'm willing to take that risk on this one. And uh, we're going to probably get some HD here, it looks like. I want this pull back a little more. It's, te it's pulled back to those double clusters. It needs to pull back a little more, though. We do have HD. If we could pull back up here around 200. That'd be where we need it to go. Of course, it didn't do that, though. Mm. No pullback. We left a cluster. On the 30 tick now? Uh, man, right to the... I may I may still take this short at 200, depending on what happens on the 10 when it pulls up there. Even though there's slight ODD, that could be the bottom, but with it just coming down here, unless if it starts chopping. Starts chopping on the 10, then I'm out. If that happens, then I'll want it to just go ahead and break short of the ice. Yeah, like now, I'm not taking a... Because see, now it's kind of going sideways. We're getting a little bit of chop here. It's not breaking this area. So if it does pull back up to here, then, you know, it might just keep going long. Because it's kind of chopping and rejecting here. So now I kind of, I pretty much want this to, to break through this short, then come back up and test those, test that area. Well, we do have HD. Still. All right. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try it out and see if we can come back down and hit this bottom. So we have that HD there. We have that wall. If it struggles, though, by these clusters, if it can come back down to them, then I'll probably go to break even. Hoping it's this gets a, a short setup here, sniper. And I admit this one is a little bit risky. Oh, we might get a Lorex short. That'd be beautiful if this closes short. Come on, close short. Just needs to break these double clusters here. Mm. Struggling.
I didn't mean to do that. I accidentally dropped my stop. I was trying to get out of that break even. I dropped my stop, but it was like a tick off, and I took a loss. All right. Dang it. I was trying to, I don't, I don't know if y'all saw that. I tried to drop my stop at break even, but it was one tick in front of the price, and it didn't let me. So I had to click out all of it, and then it was too late. But this actually might make for a good long right here. If we get a simplicity set up long above the wall. Because there's a lot of rejection down there. So I'm probably going to take this, this simplicity long. If we get it here. So that's the danger of taking a trade right below that 200. It's made its way back to 200. Let's see. Let's see if this simplicity long gets up there. I'm only taking a regular 25 tick target on this simplicity long. Because we have, there's some clusters to the left on the uh, 30 tick, but on it with the way down, it pretty much went right through those. So I'm not too worried about them. Although price is hesitating right where they are. I don't want it to lay that mini magnet here on the 10.
Oh, no, I don't want a TBS. <laughs> don't want a TBS against me. Against that mini magnet. So that doesn't look great. All right. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. Hmm, might be laying another mini magnet there. This trade's not looking good, I'll be honest. So might exit with a 0 and 2 day. Oh yeah, it's coming down now. Man. Everything's looking like this is going to come back short. So, we'll see. Just gonna let it ride. Trying to. There we go. Luckily, I was able to get out of that one at even. But it's about to come down, it looks like. Okay, so it did get rejected where those double clusters were. If you look here, right where there's double double clusters, actually triple clusters, got rejected there. So now, let's see if this wants to come short looking like it but since i'm out of it it may just go long <laughs> morning daniel hmm. right back into 200 so let's see if it goes this time. If it goes, I'm not going to hop in a short now. Because I want to see. Because it's going right back into 200 again. So. Yeah. That mini magnet. Because, see, I was in before that mini magnet. When it pulled back and lay that mini magnet, that's where I, I didn't want that mini magnet there. So, yeah, I wouldn't have taken the, the LRE. And then it came back up here, and I was waiting to see if it was going to break through it, and it just wouldn't double clusters, so finally was able to get out of break even. Looking back, I didn't get a good fill on that LRE I took back here. Look at that. I was trying to get it close to here because this would have been within... That's 198.50. Yeah, that was less than a point away. I guess this may have been 197.25. Yeah, that was within two points, but still. If I would have got in up here... 198.25... That would have been, I would have been able to move to break even because that would have been 20 ticks of profit I would have hit 
And anytime I hit 20 ticks or more, I, I go to break even. So instead of trying to get to break even back here where I, it, I missed it by a tick. Now let's see what's going to happen here. Hopefully we, hopefully I get another trade so I can not end with a negative day. We shall see. Yeah, it has double mini magnets now. Double mini magnets, triple mini magnets now. Double clusters. That's why when I was in the trade, Simplicity flipped, laid those clusters, mini magnets. I was like, oh yeah, this is coming down. <laughs> Time to get out. Time to get out. Uh, looks like I actually lost a tick on that one. Got in at 206 and got out at 205.75. Anyways, what I was going to say about um, the count was, I don't know. Once I pass the 25k, it's because I don't really like I don't like 25k accounts. So once it's funded, um, I mean I'll probably stick to one mini to be honest, because I don't like trading micros. Even though that's a little more risk than I would like. Um. It still gives, let's see. If I risk 40 ticks a day, I'm risking 200. Man, it still gives me seven and a half days of losing before I... I blow that account I prefer at least 12 for funded accounts but I mean if I can do it during evaluation I'll, I'll just probably stick with a mini when it's funded just because I don't like 25k accounts and if it lo if it blows out then then I guess you know whatever <laughs> then I'll get another 25 I mean another 50 because I just don't like I just don't like 25k accounts and it's mainly because, you know, everything I do, I think long-term. And I know long-term, I don't want to be limited to four four contracts. So, that's the main reason. All right, let's see if it breaks this, this uh, bottom now, these levels here. At about 189, this ice level and all. Let's see if it has enough steam in it to, to push down and break it. Which it has all these mini magnets. Laid a mini magnet on the wall here. So this right here was a good sign that it's definitely going to push down. Which it is. But now let's see if it'll keep going. Yeah, 50Ks are great for the long long run because, I mean... 10 contracts is a lot of contracts and that's just one account <laughs> you multiply that over 10 accounts you're talking about trading 100 contracts that's a lot a lot thanks Tommy I appreciate that We still have time. Uh, this morning feels like it's going by slow compared to some mornings. <laughs> still, it's only not even 9 o'clock yet, so. Let's see what happens here. So, as I said, that LRE I took was on the risky side. It was on the risky side, but it was the first break of 200 in the, for this, you know, for this, uh, for a while. For a few hours. So since it broke under 200. Didn't pull. This is where I originally wanted it. But it didn't pull back enough. 
I needed to pull back like up here. Then it came down. We had a slight ODD. Mini magnet. Pulled up. Chop. Mini magnet. I mean, there's a lot of reasons for me not to take this trade. And I probably shouldn't have. But then when it came up here and it still had HD. And it's testing that 200 again. I took it with the idea that it'll at least come back down these mini magnets which that's where my target was my profit target but as you can see these clusters right here couldn't really get past that that's where it got me so a little bit of more on the risky side for sure could have been avoided that one could have been avoided but you know that's the way it goes sometimes I don't regret it I mean I'd prefer not to have taken it, <laughs> but it doesn't bother me because that's, as y'all can see, the main thing is following the money management. So that's I preach that forever, and I will always preach that, is if I take a net two losses, there's either something wrong with me or something wrong with the market. And in this case, that was more so something wrong with me on that one. So it's like, okay, I'll give it another shot. And here I got out of break even, so that's a wash. That one was fine. It just got rejected at those clusters on the 30. Okay, got out of break even. So now if, if I take another trade and it loses, you know, like I said, could be something wrong with me still or it could be something market not cooperating and I just need to not trade. Chris. Haven't seen you on here in a while. What's up? Yeah, I hear that. <laughs> well, yesterday would have been a better day for that. <laughs> exactly, Tommy. That's my whole thinking behind that. Yeah. As you can see, Chris, I'm down... 21 ticks I took a LRE back here and I was just explaining of why there was a lot of reasons to not take that one and it was a risky one and when I took it I did say it was a risky one and it and it lost so you know maybe a good lesson where if you say ah this could be a risky one maybe just stay out of it I probably should have stayed out of it and then I uh, took a long here that got rejected got got out at break even and now we wait again we have double clusters on the 30. So it's trying to lay a mini magnet here. Not sure that it will, but yeah, double clusters here on the 30. I mean, look at the 50 tick chart. It's just it's just ugly. It's just ugly. So we'll see. Still got about a good 15, 20 minutes. Uh oh. I don't know if I want to read my messages. Uh the fifty tick it shows a bunch of nothing. <laughs> Look at that. Just the overnight, like I was saying when I first got on, it's hardly moved at all overnight. We had like a one little down run here. It looks like pretty much at the London open. And then a move up. But that took all the way until I started trading. Like, that took the whole overnight. Just one little run down, one little run up. But I'm sure it took forever. I mean, it did take forever. You can see hours, hours, hours. And then since I've been on, I mean, we haven't had nothing either. We had that big news event, too. Really didn't do anything. Typically, the 50-tick chart looks better when it looks something like that. That's clear, nice movement. Run up, four bar chop, breakout bar, run down, three bar chop, down, three bar chop, down. I mean, this is clean. I like this. That's why I had a good day yesterday. This, not so much. And why, another reason why maybe I shouldn't have taken that trade. 
So that's why I'm always looking back. You should always look back on your trades because, you know, as much as I like to say I, th I think I can read these order prints and have a good analysis of why I take my trades and things like that, of course, you're always going to make mistakes. So when you're aware of the mistake then or a reason why maybe you shouldn't have taken the trade then when that comes up again i guarantee like i guarantee you tomorrow if i'm trading and a scenario comes up like this where i'm like ah eh, this one's kind of risky i promise you i'm not taking it <laughs> it's not worth it cuz it's fresh on my mind now But see, like, if I don't take another trade this morning, then, you know, this afternoon I'll be trading my other accounts. And, you know, same rule applies. I'm already down one trade. So if this afternoon I hop on, first trade loses, I'm done. So I keep it for the entire day. But that's the downside with this 25K account is this afternoon if I get a one or two great trades then yeah, I had a great day, but then the 25k account is still down for the day. <laughs> so that's also a reason why this dang thing is taking longer. All right, well, market may uh, be done for the morning till the open. Well, I never know what the future holds, Tommy, but <laughs> my job is in real estate, 
So it's not really a job job. Um, and I invest in real estate. So I'm always going to be doing that trading and investing in real estate. But, you know, maybe my schedule can shift. But uh, it'll be quite some time. <laughs> Yeah, it'll be a good while before I make any changes. Um, thanks for that, Jim. Yeah, expected volume has dropped. Hmm. I mean, I can see it for sure on the charts. Yeah, for sure, Tommy. Yeah, and I'm real conservative when it comes to finances. Um, as far as not conservative as in because I, I I like investing so like you know I'll put money to risk but conservative as in cutting off a income stream <laughs> All right, let's see if it's going to break it this time. It's going to break this this ice level 88 area. I don't know if it'll have it in it, but I've only got about 10 minutes left, so... Yeah, I found this uh, bar timer from... Um, it was free. A place called ninza.com or yeah, dot com, I think, or dot co. It's N I N Z A. You just gotta put in your email address and they'll let you download it. I like it because it's a visual. <laughs> you can see it getting red. Uh, the price band LRE is this line follows the the bar by two points, top or bottom. So see how the bar is right here? If this, this little black line gets to the, the dot, the solid line, then it's within two points. So it's just a visual aid. And you can change the uh, how many points you want it to this to be set to. So as it's pulling back... You can see, no, that's a separate thing. Uh, somebody donated it to the community. It's on my 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 website too, for free. So see, like now, it's definitely within two prices. Definitely within two points because this dashed line is behind the solid line. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, right here. Uh, price band LRE, which I need to make a better video because <laughs> I just, I threw because everybody wanted it, so I just threw this up there real quick and uh, just download it straight from there. But I need to make a better video explaining it. Yeah, 
Yeah, let me see here. Yeah, see, ticks above or below price. You can change it if you want. If you want one point, two points, whatever you want. Oh yeah, Nutty Bar. I just saw your comment. Yeah, I was uh on there. The the town hall last night. Good stuff. Yeah, I was wondering price to break below this one eighty eight area. Ah, man, it's just And if it lays this mini magnet on the 30, like if this ends up coming all the way back up to 207.50 and leaves this mini magnet here, then, you know, that's not good for a short. <laughs> now, if it leaves, if this ends up closing down and leaves this mini magnet, that could push us through. But we'll see. I mean, we're getting 15 minutes to the open, so I'm not counting on it.
Simplicity did give a long entry there, but I'm not. I would not be taking it in the middle of this. Not until it breaks above these these mini magnets up there, where I basically could not get above on my simplicity long. That 207 area, which, like I said, if if it reaches 207.50, then this bar on the 30 tick will close up and leave that mini magnet, and that will be a good signal that it's going to actually go that time. But, of course, that didn't happen before the open. Yeah, it's choppy. It's ugly right now. So definitely would need this to break above these mini magnets here. 207.50. But, I mean, I don't love that either. Yeah, Tommy, it's just, I don't like the way the market is right now. All morning, really. This is such a strong support down here. I mean, this area between 88 and where we are now, like 93, this area. Well, if we could break short of that, I mean, I would feel so comfortable taking a short below that. But now we're, you know, we're running into time constraints <laughs> start getting into that dark zone then it's a no-go that 30 tick mini magnet went away so it's gone got re rejected for the moment at this mini magnet again Now, the one issue is, if this does break here, is it has not tested these triple mini magnets yet at 188, 188.50. So, very well could come right down to them and, and get stuck there. <laughs> so, I would want a clean breakthrough and then pull back to retest. So, let's see if we can get it. Needs to be within the next couple minutes, though. All right, we're hitting the triple mini magnets now. If we can get a break. A clean break of it and a pullback. Not a bounce. <laughs> I don't want to bounce. But more than likely, I mean, I'm not expecting this just to break through because, like I said, it's the first time it's hitting this. Got 
got close back here, but it didn't hit it. Okay, it's pushing through. Let's see. Now these are 10 tick mini magnets. So potentially, because we just laid the ZOI on the 30, potentially a pullback to the ZOI might be good because that was a resistance as well. I mean, a support as well. And there's enough room to profit. I but I'm not going to take it. <laughs> I want it to break short. Uh, there we go. Clear those out. I mainly look at the 30 tick for spread OP to indicate chop. The 10 tick. These, I mean, we had a lot of ranging because of them up here. Now it's finally breaking it. So once it breaks them, it'll usually come up and test them. And that's my favorite trade. So once it breaks, comes back up and retests and gives me an LRE. Then I love it. But I want my short entry to be right around this area this 88 area because if it does pull back up to the coi then it could chop because then you're in the middle of this and now we're getting really close to the dark zone so i'm i'm not going to take a trade but i was hoping this would continue down and pull back to about 88 and get my entry from here to go short not not up in this area above it because then yeah then if you come back into this zone then you can get chopped so like now it's just we're getting into the dark zone now but an LRE would be exactly where I want it now. It would be right here at these triple mini magnets. That's exactly where I'd want it, but I mean, we're like coming right into the dark zone. Yep, that's why I'm not taking it, Tommy. Because, I mean, the LRA is exactly where I want it. This is exactly where I want it, right here. The LRA would be at 188, and that's the level I've been saying this entire time. I want to break that 88 area, come back and test it. So this right here is textbook for me, right here. A short from right here, but, you know, like he said, I mean, it's 925, we're in the dark zone. So anything can happen. It could pull right up to here and just, I get in and shoot up just like it's shooting down. So too risky for me. 925. And that's it. I'm calling it a day. So unfortunately, this 20 tick, I mean 25k account is going to suffer a loss today. 21 tick loss. No worries. We'll be back tomorrow. Like I said, on my other accounts, I'll be trading them this afternoon. So we'll see how that goes.
Wouldn't the bars at 836 coming up short sure that it would go through them this time around? Oh yeah, it's only one uh one trade. One trade loss, one one winner puts me back in the green, so I'm not sure I understand your question, Rory. Uh wouldn't the bars at eight thirty six coming up short of the mini magnet stack show that it would go through them this time around? See look, it's doing exactly come back up, test that area right there. And then come short. That was exactly the trade that I wanted. Can't take it in the dark zone. All right, y'all. Have a great day. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Oh, yeah, Roy. That's exactly why I was saying that it'll probably... That's why I was looking. That's why I preferred this short to happen. Because it came down back here, got close. Look how many times it tested this area. Here, 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 here. That's why I took this trade here. And then it came all the way back up, came back down, came back up. Many times. From the 30 tick, from everywhere else, other than it testing it a few times, there's no indications that it was going to go through. But, yeah, that's exactly why I was looking for it to break. You know, I was calling out for this to break that and then come back and test it. And that's where I wanted my short. Because I was looking forward I mean, the whole morning. That was, that's what I was looking for. I wanted this to break because of how many times it got close to it that as soon as it breaks, it's going to go and then come back and test it. That's exactly what it did. Just took too long for me. Came back up, tested that bottom area, and there we go. That was exact what exactly what I wanted. <laughs> it's just I'm not gonna do it in the dark zone. So all right. See you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Trade well and watch that 10 a.m. news. Y'all take care.